and and now there's some I'm pretty sure there's some things that we do um, that of course are detrimental to the body and to the kidney specifically that most of the time we don't know. Yeah. So can we start with those? What are all <laughs> these things that we do? And we, we, we don't really know. And most of the time, because I've had someone say, um, and I have had also some ladies say that, you know, sometimes I don't, want, I don't like going to, to the washroom for short calls mm -hmm. because, I mean, it's just too much work. Yeah. So I, t I tend to pile it and pile it yeah. that when I cannot hold it anymore, <laughs> yeah. that is when I go to, you know, to relieve myself. So is that one of the bad practices that we do unknowingly that it's bad for our kidneys? Actually, that is a bad practice. Okay. Um, and there are particular sets of patients who when they do, uh, do or individuals who when they do that mm. develop recurrent um, kidney infections so mm. they'll keep on getting um, not, not, not urinary tract infections yeah. the lower kind where there is the pain and the burning sensation when you pass urine mm -hmm. but they actually get reflux back to the kidney itself to the collecting system that was mm -hmm. being demonstrated in the video mm -hmm. and so they get a different infection known as pyelonephritis mm -hmm. and so whenever they are getting treated for these recurrent cases the doctor will keep on telling them mm -hmm. the more you feel the urge to go yeah. and pass urine that's your body telling you you know mm. the the reflex to pass urine known as the micturation reflex mm. it, it is involuntary yeah. your body knows that sometimes we can be dumb we refuse to listen to it yeah. so it'll press mm -hmm. now by the time it gets to the point where you really have to go mm. the body has been telling you over and over and now it says if you don't go to the loo now we're mm. gonna make you pass urine yeah. when you stand mm -hmm. uh, but there are very many other things that we do you know uh, are we ensuring that we are taking adequate water intake? Mm. You know, uh, the nutritionists and the doctors will tell you to take eight glasses a day. Yeah. Uh, but even myself sitting in this chair, I laugh when I'm talking to my patients and okay. telling them, oh, buy a water bottle, drink enough water. Then I sit down and ask myself, have Do I really? Do that? Exactly. Yeah. So I'm trying to change that practice. Mm. Um, and my wife is keeping me accountable. Mm. But we can improve the simple things like ensuring we are not waiting to get thirsty. Yeah. By the time your body is initiating the thirst reflex, mm -hmm. it means you're already too far gone, yeah. you're already dehydrated and now it's mm -hmm. demanding, it's telling you we really can't function, yeah. the kidneys have tried to pull back as much as possible and we are struggling, mm -hmm. so give us more water so that we can function better. Yeah. There is the use of tobacco, mm -hmm. there is the use of alcohol that we talk about, mm -hmm. and then also we look at now the other chronic diseases that mm -hmm. are present that mm -hmm. can lead to kidney injury. Yeah. So you know with a chronic disease like diabetes and like hypertension, mm -hmm. The control of that disease is what prevents the progression mm -hmm. and the end-stage renal failure. Okay. So here you've gone, your doctor has made a diagnosis and told you you're a hypertensive. Mm -hmm. Now, hypertension doesn't come with pain, doesn't come yeah. with hard signs. Mm -hmm. So you will take your medicine today, you forget for three days, yeah. then you take again. So then those are bad habits because mm -hmm. as you're poorly controlling this chronic disease, mm -hmm. you're allowing it to continue having those detrimental effects on mm -hmm. your organs. Mm -hmm. And so like diabetes will affect the eyes, yeah. it'll affect the heart, it'll affect the gut, mm -hmm. it'll affect then the kidneys. Yeah. So, but then when you have your sugars tightly controlled, when you now adhere to the prescribed regimen from your doctor, mm -hmm. you find that that becomes a good habit mm -hmm. where you're able to, to control this and prevent other uh, damage okay. and then finally is diet okay yeah all right so it's important for us to know because 